Winter brings the feeling of nesting or hunkering down. It also means the picking up of a piece or two of handicrafts. The oven works overtime for those holiday family favorites, and knitters dash to their local yarn stores to squeeze in one more scarf or a pair of socks for that last-minute gift. As you are crafting away, Barmaids continues to handcraft yummy goodness for your skin. Barmaids handcrafts their products with natural skin-loving oils and butters, everything your skin needs to keep it soft and moisturized, and nothing it doesn't. Since you are likely to use your hands more during the holiday season, let Lolo keep them moisturized. It's simple. Get your hands wet, shake the water off, and get your Lolo on before you pick up the needles, cookie cutter, or drop spindle. Hi, and welcome to Knitting Blooms. Today is Saturday, December 8th, and this is episode number 84. And of course, my husband starts walking around as soon as I start recording. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it is late in the evening. It is about 5.15, 5.30. Let's see what time is it. It's 5.15, and I'm, I'm recording a little later than normal. But um, the girls and I were having a nice time at Knit Club, and um, they got out of here a little late, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but it just sets back my schedule a little bit, so I'm going to try and make this kind of short, um, just so that I can get all the processing and stuff done um, before I go to bed. Um, there's lots of different processes that I have to do, and I still, the podcast still won't be uploaded until tomorrow and again I don't know why I'm telling you this because you you're gonna see it tomorrow anyway but um it just I like to get everything done so that I can get up and start process or start uploading first thing in the morning so um and and really I don't have too much to talk about because I didn't prepare too many show notes um this week I've just been busy knitting so I do have a lot of knitting to show you I do want to um, send out my condolences to the friends and family of Knit Pearl Girl, who is Carrie Steinmetz. She passed away, um, now it's almost two weeks ago. I didn't learn of her passing until the Saturday after it happened. She passed away on November 26th, and because I was not connected on Ravelry or Plurk or anything like that. I had been playing my games most of that week and I did not realize that she had passed away until last Saturday after I recorded. So I was hit hard like everybody else. Um, it just I just couldn't believe that it had happened. I had just got to meet her in person at Rhinebeck and she was such a sweet person. She came up to me, gave me a great big hug and it just saddens me to know that the world is without such a fantastic person. But um, what does make me happy, though, is all of the people that are carrying on her legacy by sending out the wraps, which is Random Act of Pattern Tuesday. And I got my first wrap this past Tuesday, and that was gifted to me by Fifi Knits. So... Thank you very much for being the first to wrap me uh, last Tuesday, and it was very exciting to see um, so many people wrapping. I also got wraps from uh, Wooly Love and Half Baked Knitwit as well. So thank you, both. Thank you all for the patterns that you sent. Um, I will definitely be knitting knitting them. I think one of them was a pattern that I had. Actually, two of them. I can't even remember if all of them were patterns that I had in my in my queue. But I will definitely be knitting all of those. I've already started making plans to to put them into my queue and, and, and start working on them. So, but it just amazes me how many people are out there sending those random acts of pattern on Tuesday. And I hope it continues for a long, long while. I know that I am planning on doing it. I sent, I don't know, three or four out last weekend or last Tuesday. And I plan to continue to do it each Tuesday for, for quite some time just to um, remember Carrie and to do it in her in her honor. So, yeah, let's keep that, that, that rap going for a long time. Um, I'm going to start with my stash enhancement this week. 
Usually I save it for after the knitting, but I want to talk about it first. First, I was gifted a fabulous um, little gift this week, and um, I was really surprised by it, and it was really fun to receive in the mail, but I received some project bags, um, and I was so excited about this. Uh, this is a friend of mine who comes to uh, Knittopia. She just wanted to show her thanks for everything that I do, and she made up me some some really cute little project bags, and I just love them. They are cute. They're like a um, a quilted fabric, and this one has a zipper on it, and it's really a nice size. And they have kittens. Look at little kittens. And then this one as well, the same the same fabric. And this one has the drawstring on it. But they're really great sizes. This one also has a little pocket. I don't know if you'll be able to see that inside there. But there's a little pocket in there. So, you know who you are. Thank you so much for my bags. I really, really like them. And I definitely re will be using them. I don't ha I'm not using them now because I wanted to show them on the podcast um, before I started using them. But I really do like them. And it is very much appreciated. Thank you for thinking about me. And... Thank you for sending these this little gift to me. Um, the next thing is uh, when the when Carrie passed away, everyone decided that we were going to do a little bit of a um, knit along to honor her memory. And um, Unwind Yarn Company was running a special on her yarn for. It's the Voyage base, the Voyage Aaron base, and she was running a special so that everybody could get yarn to knit the um, Crossroads at the coffee shop, which is one of Carrie's patterns. And by the way, when you're sending your wraps out, if you are going to send some, please try and send um, some of Carrie's patterns as well because all that money is going straight to the family, so it can help them out in this time. Anyway. So I ordered this yarn, which is, um, the colorway is pure gold, and it is in the Voyage Aran base. And I don't typically buy Aran weight yarn because I don't like heavier weight yarn, but I wanted to be able to knit in um, a weight that was good for the pattern, and I didn't want to have to change anything or anything like that. So I did just go ahead and... Uh, purchase two skeins of this for my crossroads at the coffee shop and I also cast on that uh, pattern today um, during the virtual memorial for for Carrie we had club at the house uh, Nick club at, at my house today and at 12 o'clock um, I had like a little reminder on my phone and um, I did log into the chat room of friends of knit pearl girl and just stopped in for a brief moment while um they were having a little bit of a you know a chat chat um in her in her honor so i did cast this on and i will show you that shortly when i get to that and that was from the unwind company um unwind yard company and i don't know if she's still running the special or if um if that's over or not but Go check out a yarn because I found that I really like this yarn. Even though I'm not really um, an Aran weight yarn person, this yarn is really nice and it's really working up quickly. Uh, the next thing I got, I got some Dancing Dog Dye Works. And guess what? This is my first that I've ever received. And I'm so excited about it. Um, I've received, um, both of them are Jive Sock. And the first one is um, Sophie. Oh, Sophia. And, of course, I just had to have these colors. Pink, green, and yellow. My favorite. This, Like I said, this is my first Dancing Dog Dye Works, so I have never knit with it before, and so I'm very excited about getting the opportunity to, um, to knit this up. And I think, I'm not sure if this is a self-striping or if it's just a variegated. I can't, can't remember. But it's going to be fun to knit up. And then the second one is also Jive Sock in the Raspberry Fields and Ice. Uh, is that I? Raspberry Fields and 
I think it's ice pink because it's it's two that come together so you can do toes and heels so and again it's got that raspberry pink and the greens with some other colors in there which are perfect for for me and then the the um, the ice pink for the toes and heels so I'm like I said I'm very excited about being getting the opportunity to knit up uh, this because I have not not knit with her yarn before so I'll let you know uh, how I like it as soon as I get an opportunity to to knit it up I'm sure I will love it but it's very exciting and I also got a prize for you guys she when I placed my order she also sent um, another skein for me to give away on the podcast. And so I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to give this one away, but I'm going to keep it all wrapped up nice and pretty and um, keep it for you guys for some time soon. Probably maybe in January. We'll see how the, what the next knit along, because the, the current knit along, I already have all the prizes laid out for the mitten knit along that we're doing now that will be over in December. But I know that there's going to be another knit along in January um, and February and beyond. So there's going to be, you know, more than enough opportunities to get um, to have this as a prize. So, but it will probably be January or February or sometime in the very near future. Okay, so those are all my stash enhancements. I do have, I think, one more order coming um, that I was hoping was going to be here by today, but isn't here yet, so I'll be able to show you that next week. But I'm kind of nervous about updating my stash on Ravelry because I haven't updated it since N In the Mitten. And I have added quite a bit of stuff to my stash. So I'm nervous about finding out where I am, but I also want to get that stuff on Ravelry so I have my pictures and photos and all of that taken. But um, I might not do that until next week. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. What else? Oh, I did want to mention also, um, I mentioned a month or so ago about my points if you do a lot of shopping online for christmas gifts try to check out my points because you can get lots of points for stuff you're going to buy if you're buying christmas gifts for people you just go through the my point site you accumulate your points and you can get so many gift cards um with the points that you accumulate so whenever I try, whenever I buy stuff, and I buy almost all of my gifts online because I just hate shopping. And I try to go to my points and see if there's a shop that I can buy something there. Or I just look for ideas sometimes. I'm, I'm having a really hard time this year trying to decide what to get Steve for Christmas. Um, usually he's kind of dropped hints throughout the year, and I usually keep track and, and write things down, but... He really hasn't been giving me any hints this year, so I just really hate to fall back on the, you know, the standard stuff, but um, I try to be a little bit more creative. So, uh, let's move on to, I'll briefly talk about spinning first. I'm kind of like flip-flopping the show today. Um, I'm doing the things that I usually do last, first, and vice versa. Uh, spinning, I will talk about it briefly, but I'm not going to show you anything because everything is still kind of on the wheels and stuff. I did do a little bit of spinning on the alpaca fiber. I started the second, third, and I've been going back and forth on whether I'm going to two-ply it or three-ply it. And I think I have got, gone back to the three-ply. Last time I talked to you about that fiber, I was definitely going to just two-ply it. But I think I have gone back to wanting to three-ply it. What I might do is finish plying all the singles and then do a sampling of three-ply and a sampling of two-ply and see which one I like best. Now, I already did this. I already did a sampling of three-ply and two-ply. And I, I do like the three-ply better. Uh, but I think I can get more yardage and still have the same, basically the same weight yarn with a two-ply. So I just kind of have to decide, do I want more yardage or do I, do, do I want more of a rounded yarn? I'm not sure yet. I'll probably change my mind 16 times before now and the time I actually do it. But I did start the second, third. 
on the Three Waters Farms Merino that I've been working on. I am still working on the third ball, which is the third ball of four. And I'm almost done. If all goes well after I finish recording as things are getting uploaded to the computer, I hope to sit down and spin some more on that. I don't know if I'll get it all spun up tonight. There's probably about another, maybe another yard of roving um, in that ball. I don't know if I'll get it all done tonight, but if I work on it tonight and then tomorrow night, I might get it all done the rest of, by the end of this weekend. So now we can move on to my uh, finished objects. And the only finished object that I have this week are some more dishcloths, two more dishcloths. And like I've said before, you can never have too many dishcloths. And I've just been knitting these up so that I have them and they're available. And of course, these are my colors, so fabulous. But two more dishcloths done. I still have not woven the ends in on these or the other ones that I finished two weeks ago, I think. So, still got to weave those ends in. I've been lazy and I still have not woven any ends in on my sock yarn blanket either. But, you know, it'll get done sometime. Okay, next up, let's talk about this one. I did work on my stripy socks a little bit. I, not that one I didn't work on. And this is, this is why I think my my um, <laughs> my yarn gets all tangled because I pull out the wrong one. Usually I'm pretty careful about grabbing the right one. Um, I did work on this one. Got a bit done. So I was right here, which is right before the heel or, or right at the heel, I can't remember. Could have been right before or right after, I'm not sure. But I got that much more done. It's coming right along. I hope these will be done for Christmas, but I don't know if they will or not. I've just kind of been working on them when I don't have anything um, or when I want to kind of have a project that I can put down and pick up easily or just don't feel like thinking. So they haven't been getting a whole lot of a lot of love, but I still got quite a ways to go. If I if I knit to my toe, I have mm, one, two, three, about four more stripes before I start the um, the ribbing. And actually, I found this week that I might even like my socks a little bit longer than that because what I have been doing is I have been knitting. Runaway yarn. I have been knitting my socks to the toe and then putting another inch to two inches of ribbing. And I put on a pair of socks this week that were quite a bit longer, that were like four inches longer than the toe. Um, and I really liked how they fit on my foot. Now, those socks were a, a heavy... They, I think it's considered a heavy fingering, but I might even say they were sport or DK. Um... I don't know, but they were heavier. They they were not knit on zeros or double zeros. These are knit on double zeros. The other ones were probably knit on one or maybe even two, but I did really like the, the length of those socks. So I might try and make these a little bit longer if I have enough yarn. I think I will. Um, this doesn't feel like that much yarn, but I see lots of different layers of different colors in there. So I can count that there's at least 11 stripes left in here and that's quite quite a bit so they're coming right along this other one has not been worked on at all I'm still right down at the heel but I might pick this one up next and start working up the leg on this one just so that I can keep them right in line with one another because that's just how I like to do it so that's going back in my bag. And the next project, let's look at this one. This is my knit swirl. And I got quite a bit done on the knit swirl this week. In fact, I cast off for the body. So, let's see. I only have this many stitches on the needles now. I don't know, there's like, 
something like a hundred and something, I don't know, that many stitches. And the rest of it is over here. So the rows are going to get much, well, they're going to get, they're shorter and then they're going to get long again. So right now I am increasing and then I think after I do so many welts, I have to do like some major increasing for the sleeves, I think. I don't know. I haven't read that far ahead in the pattern. Anyway, there's where I was last time and I've done that many welts up. And I really do like how this is turning out. I did realize just before I bound off the stitches for the body um, that I have been doing one of the welts incorrectly. Which I decided I was not going back to fix because it's only, it only, the only thing that's wrong is that the welt was one row short and the welt it's one there's one there's four welts that were one row short so in essence I'm four rows short but really when when, when this is all blocked out it's you're not going to be able to really see that so I just said well those welts will not be five rows I'm only doing four but I have changed to do them correctly in the body going up so hopefully there's not that much of a big difference where when you're looking at the back say for instance that you notice the, the change in different rows but hey I'm not going to worry about it I don't think anybody's going to notice I'm definitely not ripping out all these all these extra rows with all these stitches to fix it because I seriously don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. So I am working back and forth on the body section. And um, this goes for quite a number of welts. I'm not really sure, but I, for some reason I want to say it's like over 30. I mean, this was like 20 welts to get to this point. And I want to say that more than half of the sweater is in the, bo the body part. So... I still have a long way to go, but it's only December and we still have till April to finish it up. So I don't think there's going to be any problem with that. Um, I have not finished using up the first two balls yet. I actually went back to um, the balls that I used before. I had planned on... Uh, Soaking these and then winding them back up before I use them. However, I noticed that this yarn was quite relaxed when I pulled it off. And one of the reasons why I was going to soak it and redo it was because I thought it would be too kinked up and it might look funny. But this yarn was quite relaxed. And I did when I wound this into a ball, I didn't really wind it real tight. So I don't think it's stretched out. So I think I'll be fine with it. And I just went ahead and started knitting with it. Because really, it wasn't, before I ripped it out the first time, it wasn't in the knitting all that long before I ripped it out. So I don't think it's going to cause a problem with my, with my work. But if I was leaving that for a long period of time, before using it again, or if I left it in the knitting part before I ripped it out, um, I probably would seriously consider uh, washing the yarn and then hanging it to dry before continuing to knit with it. So that's the knit swirl. Okay, let's talk about the Even Star. I did make significant progress on the Even Star this week. Um, Last week I had not worked on it at all and I was um, thinking that I was going to be seriously behind, but I, as it turns out, um, as of last week, I was only one row short of where I needed to be for last week. So last week I should have been at row 33 and I think I was at row 32. This week I needed to be at row 40 but I think I'm further along than row 40. I can't remember now. And let's see if I can pull it up real quick. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that I'm ahead of schedule now on um, the Even Star. 
I am on row 43. So yes, I am ahead of schedule based on um, my, my schedule here. And I did get quite a few rows done. I will show you that. I just put in a, a new lifeline because I was getting kind of nervous. There was a moment there that I dropped a stitch and it, it dropped pretty quickly. Um, so there's where I am and it's really, really coming together nicely. I'm, I'm beeping everywhere. <laughs> you want to wait for me? Maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> you with me? Yeah. <laughs> Steve was just <laughs> saying he was going to go to um, look at a coat. And anyway, you heard what I said. <laughs> so I've done quite a bit, and it's really coming together nicely. I, I like not having that lifeline in there so I can really see. Oops, almost dropped some stitches off of there. Um... So I can really see the pattern because if, if we look at the stuff down below further, it's hard to see the pattern with all those lifelines in there. So I did go quite a number of rows without putting a lifeline in because I wanted to see it. And it, they were all rows that I had kind of memorized. I didn't really have to look at the pattern, so I didn't think it was going to be a problem. Um, but there was a moment that I dropped a stitch and it jumped down and I had to hurry and catch it. And luckily it wasn't on a row where I was doing knit two togethers or a part that I was doing knit two togethers and it was pretty easy to, to pick up. But I'm making good progress on this. Like I said, I'm on row, I finished row 43. I think I'm just starting row 44. So I am making excellent progress and I believe that I'm supposed to be changing to transition. According to this, I'm supposed to transition to at row 45, but I'm going to weigh my yarn because I'm still really nervous about um, running out of yarn. And right now, I'm using about a gram of yarn per per um, row, and I still have I want to say 15 grams left. That's all the beeping is the still the text message. I've got my phone on one side and my iPad on the other. Anyway, um, so I still have 15 grams here. And even if I changed, started transitioning at 45, I would have three more rows that I have to do with this. But that's only three grams. And I'm just really nervous that I'm going to get to the end and I'm going to be short on that border. If anybody has used this yarn and used and can tell me approximately how many ounces they used for the border, I would love to know because I'm so nervous that I'm going to get to the border. I know I have more yarn than what is called for in the pattern. Um, I think I have 1,800 yards. Um, but if you figure out the yardage based on the pattern, that's only an extra 300 yards. So that's only an extra ounce. And if I'm left over with, say, 15 grams of this and I've got six and six of the other, I'm going to be well over one ounce before I get to the end. I'm just so nervous that I'm not going to be able to finish that last one. And maybe I'm going to have to do... Um, multiple colors in that border. I'm not sure. In fact, I might even just get on Ravelry and see the other people that used this yarn um, in the six the six ounce um, gradient and find out if they had to use two colors on the border. Not that it's really going to matter because one part of it's going to be folded over anyway in order to wear it, but I'm just really nervous about this. But I'm loving the project. I'm really enjoying it. It's not that difficult. Um, I'm start. I'm going to be starting the um, where these things are coming together soon. I think these things start to come together. But it's fun. I work on it when I can. Um, like I said, the rows, the last twenty rows or so, have been pretty easy because once I got that four row repeat. I um, 
saw something weird. <laughs> the camera. Um, once I got that four row repeat down, it was pretty easy for me to just move forward on. Oh, let me put that back in there. The next project is my mittens. And that reminds me that we are still having our mitten knit along. So if you are working on your mittens, the mitten knit along goes till the end of the month. There's quite a number of prizes. So you have a very good chance of winning because I think right now there's only three or four pairs that have been completed. Um, and obviously I'm not eligible to win. So you have lots of um, chance to win. And um, they have to be colorwork mittens that are um, designed by Valerie Woodworth who also designed this lovely shawl and knit this shawl. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Crystal just brought me a hair tie. <laughs> what are you going to do with that, crazy girl? You going to play with it? Come up here. Come up here. Um, she, um, Excuse me, don't don't push on that. She designed and knit this shawl, and then she gave it to me. It is the candy stripe shawl, and it works perfectly to use up those extra um, scraps after you have made color work mittens, which is why she designed it. And it is a free pattern. So, my first mitten is almost done, because you will see that, not quite, I haven't done anything with the thumb. And it is a mitt. I will show you. I did weave in most of my ends, but there are a few ends in here, so I have to be careful not to catch my fingers on that. So, and you'll see that mine have a longer um, arm here because remember, I was originally going to um, put in an afterthought thumb, and then I changed my mind, but I didn't want to rip all the way back down, so I just dropped in the thumb gusset up here but I kind of really like having the longer one so when I do when I'm working on the second one I'm gonna have to figure out how that's gonna all work and I made them almost long enough so just the tips of my fingers stick out which works out great because it's gonna keep my fingers warm but if I need to touch on the phone or something with my fingers my fingers are still available and I can also tuck my fingers inside there if I want to keep them a little bit warmer so so there's my first mitt that's almost done because it's just the thumb and I'll probably do the thumb so it comes up almost to here I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna use the same patterning that she has on the thumb probably um, but I'm not sure yet how it's gonna work out but I really like it and I really like the longer the longer cuff so that that worked out great and I did just work up the um, mitten and then I I also did the Latvian braid and I think I I think I just bound off like normal um, but I still bound off in pattern in color meaning if it was a pink stitch I bound off in pink and if it was a, blue, a white stitch I bound off in white so there kind of is a braid at all the way at the top so, but I did do two rows of the Lat Latvian braid, just like it is down here. So, that worked out great. I did start my second mitt. It should be in here. But I haven't gotten too far on it. I had planned on working on it a little bit today. But I worked on other projects instead, so. Not too much progress on that, but glad that it started and hope to make some good progress on that this week and next so that hopefully by the end of the month I can be finished with these with two finished thumbs too I decided to go ahead and cast on the second one before I did this thumb because I figured if I tried to do the thumb I might get frustrated because it's such fiddly work and I figured I'd rather be frustrated all at one time and do both thumbs at the same time than to do one and be frustrated and possibly never cast on the second one and again you will see that both of my mitt both of the sides of my mitten are exactly the same um, and I kind of like that because then I don't have to worry about this one being the right side the right hand and the left hand what have you oh and there's my stitch marker from last time that's where I was the last time 
So, and I'm loving my hand dyed. I just, I can't get over. This is the yarn that I dyed in the mason jar. So, I'm really excited about doing some more hand dyeing. So, those are my mittens. And again, there's still lots of time to, uh, to make some mittens and get in on those prizes. Can you sit still? <laughs> She's now over there just jumping around and playing with the, with the hair tie. It's a, it's actually a broken hair tie, so. Are you having fun? Yeah. What? Uh-huh. Are you having fun? Don't, please don't push on that. No. And then my last project for today is my Crossroads at the Coffee Shop with the Unwind Yarn Company yarn, which I just told you about a little bit ago. And I got quite a bit done. I cast this on um, this morning, and I've done a good bit of it. It's going so quick. I mean, Erin Waite yarn is goes super quick. I think that if I work on this even a little bit this week, I will have it almost done. Because <laughs> um, it's going super quick, and the rows are not difficult. I've only done a few, but it seems like they're mostly the same concept all the way up. And then when you after you finish the lace patterning, then it's all, I think it's stockinette or might be garter stitch. But either way, it's going to be easy. And I decided to add a, um, a garter edge because I'm always nervous about it rolling. So I added one extra stitch on the edge. And I am doing um, knit two on every row and then starting the pattern. So it makes it a little bit difficult for me to remember on the lace because that first that the first stitch goes with the border and then the second stitch that's not in the repeat goes with the repeat. So I just had to add an extra stitch. I didn't cast on the right number of stitches and as I was sitting here I'm like, hey, I really want to... Um, do the garter edge and I was talking to Artie and she's like well you'd have to add an extra stitch because that there's no um, that second stitch in goes with the pattern sometimes so you couldn't do it so I just did a make one and fudged it which was perfectly fine and I did do a um, two garter or two um, knit rows at the beginning as well just to make sure that it didn't didn't roll but I did work on this during the memorial service this morning um, just to think about Carrie while I was working on it and think about her family and all of that and I really hope that she feels all the love that's been sent out to her in the in the world today and every day since her passing but I'm really enjoying this I just really sad that I didn't knit one of her patterns before she left this world. Because this is, so far I'm really enjoying this pattern. So. And that's the last project I have for you today. I do want to mention the, um, the sponsors for this week for the Knittopia. And those sponsors are Into the World, Carabelle Yarns, Carabella yarns, um, Ingo, Ingo Design, Patternworks, and Spud and Chloe. And all of those um, sponsors will be put up on the website, hopefully this week. Last week I had forgotten until I started making this week's list, and I realized, oops, forgot to add last week. So I did put last week's on... Um, on the Knitopia group, and I also added them to uh, my show notes from last week as well. And um, we're continuing to receive um, donations. This week I received, I think I had one more, but I haven't opened the boxes yet. Um, I've just been busy and, and haven't wanted to take the time to make notes and stuff when I open the boxes, so I just don't open them because if I, they're not open, then I know I haven't gone through them and I haven't logged them or anything like that so um so that's where we are 
And um, that's all I have for you this week. So I hope you enjoyed the show. And you can find us everywhere on the on the internet. Um, Plurk and Ravelry. You know where we are. Anyway, I hope you have a great week. I hope you're knitting blooms this week. And I will talk to you next week. Which I'm hoping that one of these weeks I actually do some kind of tutorial or something. I do want to um, kind of expand a little bit on the show and do a little bit more informational. I know a lot of times when I'm going through my projects, I speak about uh, my experiences and stuff like that, and I know that that's been very helpful for people. But I think I'd like to expand a little bit more on that um, rather than just spewing all the information when I am um, talking about my project. I'd like to be have it be a little bit more formatted, and I'd like to start... Um, doing more tutorials and stuff like that and even if it's not in the actual podcast but taking some time outside of the podcast to record other segments for other short videos and so forth so that's all I have for you this week so I hope to talk to you next week I hope you come back for more and I uh, hope you have a great week hope you're knitting blooms bye for now